So athletes who play sports that involve a lot of running and jumping tend to complain of lower back pain or lower back tightness and stiffness. A lot of that can be caused by a lack of movement or mobility in your middle of your back or your thoracic spine. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about on um, reasons why that can cause low back or even shoulder pain and how to increase your mobility throughout your middle of your back to help alleviate pressure in your upper body and your lower back. Patients and athletes who tend to have a hunchback posture or extenuated lower back, they tend to have low back pain in either in here or they have shoulder pain kind of in the front of your shoulders or in the back of your shoulders. So we're going to just show you a little test on what increasing mobility in your lower, in your middle back, your thoracic spine, how that can help you. So what we're going to try and do is with our volunteer bay, we're going to actually get her to kind of slouch forward first. So you're going to look with your head up and next to the top of this. So People who tend, and athletes who tend to have a hunchback posture, when they try to raise their hand over their head, so they going to try to raise their hand over their head, you can see there's some stiffness either in the front part of the shoulders, and also in the back, it tends to put more pressure in your lower back here. Get her to lower her shoulders and stand up, and there's more mobility and movement there. When she raises her arms over her head, you can see there's a lot of more free range of motion in there. And that, with that free range of motion, it can reduce injuries to your shoulders to your rotator cuff muscles, your, the ones that control your shoulders, as well as decreased pressure on your lower back. So with regards to mobility and movement in your middle of your back, which we were talking about before, I usually like to get my athletes to warm up their spine, just like you warm up your wrist or your shoulders before playing an activity. Your spine has a lot of joint segments, a lot of different joints in your back, so you want to try and warm up that area as well before you do an activity. So we're going to start just with the middle of your back warm up. Um, something very simple, it's just a rotation in all directions, so not just forward, but also more importantly is moving back. So we're going to get our volunteer big. She's going to start with her hands just in front of her like this. This is going to be the easier version, and what she's going to try and do is practice going rotating her spine just in her middle of your back. So if she turns to the side like this, so if you just step to your right, good, like that, what we're going to see is when she goes and she rotates this way, we want her to focus on rotating at this area. When she moves back, good. We want to see that she's able to rotate at that one direction. So when she does it one more time, she's going to slouch a little bit more just to make sure that you're opening and closing those joints. By opening and closing those joints, that'll prepare your body better for movement. So nice and slow, then we're gonna go the other way, this way. So try and extend, good, perfect. A little bit forward, forward more, good, come back. So that's just for the middle of your back. Now what we also like to do is for the entire range of your spine, so your middle back and your lower back. So this is the same movement, but it's gonna be a little bit larger. So what you're going to try and do is do the same thing, but we're going to try and extend the whole part of your back. Good. So just when you come to the front bay, you're going to try and arch a little bit. Good, good, perfect. And the other way. So what that will allow you to do is sort of warm up this entire region of your spine. This next spinal warm-up will help you know, prevent that stiffness in your low back from occurring. So what we want to do is we want to get the, the patient or athlete in a quadruped position. So we want to make sure that their hips are at 90 degrees, so just a little bit closer, shoulders nice and deep, good, and a little bit long. So what we want to do is get her to drop her back just a bit, get in neutral. Good, that's perfect. So this is called the neutral spine position. So what we want to do, this first exercise, is called a global cat camel. So what we want to get her to do is to practice controlling all the segments of her back from her upper back to her lower back. So she's going to start by first dropping her head and she's going to, I always get my patients to cue up. So they're going to try and lift my hand here, slowly lift all the way like this. Good. Down to your back, then relax. 
nice and slow all the way open like this. Same thing, up again. So I usually get patients to do this 10 times. Good, and all the way down. You can see she does have some rigidity in her mid-back, but this is gonna help control those range of motion. So do it one more time. Good, and all the way down. So that will help control the individual segments in her, in her mid and lower back as, as a whole unit. So now we're going to show you guys something called the thoracic cat camel. So this is just focusing on the middle of your back here. So because rigidity in, in athletes and in patients tend to be in the middle of your back here, we want to try and specifically target that. The other exercise was more global for the entire spine. This is specifically for the mid back. So what we're going to try and get her to do is you want to have your back, your lower back kind of in a fixed position. Then you can get a chair, you can get a yoga ball, something that you, the patient, or even a bench, something that a patient can rest their, their elbows on because we're going to try and rotate and move at um, at this point here. So same type of thing, we're gonna try and get the patient to raise up their middle of their back here, just their mid back. Good. She can drop her head a little bit, good. And then we're gonna try and get her to go down, kind of focus on moving that middle back there. Good, same thing again, raise up. And we really wanna get you to focus on moving these joints. So actually think, with your, with your head, which joint segment you feel is stiff, and you want to try and move that joint segment itself. So we're going to drop down again, good, and come back up. This exercise can be done before an activity or even as part of your, your daily or weekly stretching routine. The previous exercises were more um, focused on flexing and extending the thoracic spine but what we also want to do is work on rotation that's very very important um, in working on rotation so turning this way and this way the standing exercise was kind of working in all directions but this one is more specifically done for rotation so what we're going to get um, Bay to do is she's going to be in on a kneeling position and what she's going to practice doing she's going to kind of kneel down like this with her hand in front of her. And what she's gonna practice doing is just reaching. You can put a ball, you can put a ball to the to one side of you, or you can put a water bottle, something that you want to try and reach towards. So if we just put my hand here, Bay's gonna try and flex for she's gonna try and reach as far as she can. So what you're gonna try and do is, and then she's gonna bring her hand back up this way to neutral, and then she's gonna reach again. What this is trying to do is to create rotation for forward so almost reaching across your body back up good she's gonna try the other side now so with her other arm good reach good come back good just drop your head a little bit good come back One more time so this is in the forward motion now we're gonna do in the backward motion so what she's going to practice doing with rotation is she's going to try and reach to the sky. Good. Come back to neutral. She's going to reach to the sky. Good. Let's the other side. So you might notice that one side is better than the other. Um, what that could mean is you probably need some practice on mobility in here, but you might also need to see a therapist if there's a problem with your back or your joint. You definitely want to see permission for that. The last exercise is sort of all in one motion. So she's going to reach and then she's going to extend and reach back. She's going to reach far down. Good. And she's going to reach and come right back. So this will really help with that range of motion in her middle of her back. 